Hello, this is Candy Lyrics and welcome to today's session. In today's brief video, we're going to take a look at a concept, publication by us. Usually when you run a systematic review, a meta-analysis, there's the need for you to consider a check for your publication by us because publication by us usually occurs when studies with significant or favorable results are more likely to be published. And so it leads to an overestimation of a of effects whenever you run your meta-analysis. And so it's very important that you get to check whether there is publication bias when you run your meta-analysis. And so basically there are two main markers that can be used to establish uh, publication bias, virtually or statistical markers. And so if you watch this video right to the very end, you're gonna see how we can visually inspect to identify if there is a publication bias, we're equally going to see whether um, there's publication by us using a statistical method called Eagles test. And then we also see how we can interpret the results that come out of either the visual inspection method or the Eagles test. And then we'll see where there is publication by us, what we can do to be able to see whether we can be able to um, adjust for that by us. And so we encourage you to watch this video right to the very end. And if it's something you like, we encourage you to pause, subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification bell so you do not miss any of these videos that will be shared subsequently. We call you encourage you to share. And if you are new, we always call you to come and learn more. Now, let's start. So we're going to install our packages. So you click on the uh, install packages metaphor. And then you upload the libraries. I've already done that, so I'm not doing that again. And then this basically is a data set that we're creating after we have gone through our systematic review and then identified or extracted our data and calculated our effect sizes and standard errors. So basically, this is just going to present us with that table called data, a data frame having the effect sizes and the standard errors. So we have our data right there over here. So um, we go ahead to create our meta-analysis object. So that line of code helps you to create a meta-analysis object. Then we go ahead to create our final plot. So basically over here, we have our final plot. And basically, how do we interpret a final plot? A final plot basically is a visual assessment of the symmetry of your first sizes, where a symmetry indicates um, publication by us. So basically, as we are seeing here, we can see more of the effect sizes of the studies pointing to this side or the positive side of this chart or graph compared to the, the negative side. So we can have just three, we can we have just two that are extremely negative, and then just one that is close to the um, symmetry line but more of the studies are here. So this is a symmetry. And then we can conclude by visual inspection that this could be pointing to um, publication by us. So basically this is how to visually inspect and to make an interpretation of it. Now, the next thing we wanna do is to see whether we can use statistical method to be able to also be able to establish um, whether there's um, a symmetry or publication by us or not. And so we run this line of code and that should be able to give us um, printed p-values. So basically, at the bottom here, we have a significant p-value. And whenever you have a significant p-value, it indicates that there is publication by us. So basically, just as the visual inspection method had established that there is publication by us, the Eagles also have established or has established that we have a significant p-value pointing to uh, publication by us. Now, when we have publication by us, we can trim and fill. And that is a method that we use to adjust for potential publication by us by imputing missing studies and recalculating the effect size. So take a careful look at this diagram very well and see if there's a difference when we run the trim and fill method. So we run that and then we plot the trim and fill method. So we can see that there are two new effect sizes that have been added. 
So, so we have one and two that has been added to just try to shift to make it a bit quite symmetric or symmetrical. So basically, this is how you can be able to do a publication bias analysis to establish whether there's publication bias or not by visual inspection using the final plot. And we mentioned that once it is symmetrical, then it means there's no publication bias. But once there's a symmetry where we have more points or effect sizes at one side compared to the other, then it suggests that there is a publication bias. And we can equally use the IGES test or statistical method to also establish whether there's publication bias. And we can make inferences by using the p-value. Once the p-value is statistically significant and it's less than 0 0.05, we conclude that there is a symmetry which is publication bias. And then once there's publication bias, we want to try to adjust for those potential publication bias by imputing missing studies and recalculating the sample size, sorry, the effect size, which is what we achieve by using the trim and fill methods. So basically, this is it. If you enjoyed content such as this, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel, like the video and share the video with all. So one and all, we can enjoy studying on this platform. Until we meet again on our next one, this is Scheduleryx and it's a bye.